ready? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm straight. straight. You thought you saw the last of me? Think again. I'm like Miss Vanjie. Bitch, I'm back. Hi, if you don't know me, I'm Chris Lamb. What's your name? Hi, <laughs> I'm Leo Xia. What's, What's your up? Name? I'm Richard Wang. And uh, if you can't tell by the title of the show, this is where straight guys watch Drag Race with me. And we're doing season 11. Yes, we are. So Richard, you're new to this show. Mm -hmm. um, what has your experience been with RuPaul's Drag Race before? Uh, so back in season nine, mm -hmm. I got a call. I'm also a dancer like Leo. Leo doesn't say that he's a dancer anymore. I don't own that in a professional space. But um, basically I got a call from <laughs> uh, season nine's RuPaul's Drag Race that, um, hey, would you like to dance in the finale of the show? Um, and I, at that point, had never heard of RuPaul or the Drag Race before, so uh -huh. I was like, oh, this sounds like it could be fun, like, why not? Um, so I show up to this job, and they give us a security guard outfit. I don't know if, if you guys remember that season, but... People it, like, will straps, remember that season. Straps on the legs, and I'm like, um, so that was my introduction to RuPaul's Drag Race, drag race and uh, prior to that, I never heard of it, and I haven't really kept up with the seasons at all. You typically don't watch regularly. Typically I don't, yeah. Cool. So this is kind of a new thing for me. Cool. So. Let's get into it. So we start off with the entrances. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of queens and there are a lot of segments of the show, at least in the beginning of the season, we're not going to go through every single one of them mm -hmm. for the sake of time. Sure. But which ones were your favorites? Or were there any ones that stood out for you? Scarlet Envy is a little bit into herself. Super into herself. <laughs> the world wants me and the feeling is mutual. Of course, you're, like, you're on television on this kind of reality TV show. Yeah. And you gotta really sell yourself. Yes. I think it's a symptom of the show <laughs> running for so long and being so popular where like, uh -huh. you just like prepare like this line. It can feel a little bit kind of overly prepared. Yeah, mm. the first line you mean. Yeah. Okay, I have to say, Nina West's entrance when she came in, because she was the first one, it, I was, I, I was not impressed by it. <laughs> I don't know if it was supposed to be kitchen. I don't, did you guys hear, did you guys remember what she said? She was like, things are gonna be 11 gendary. And yes. I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, the more I say, the more I like it. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, Plastique is actually, I really like Plastique I'm, a lot. <laughs> I mean, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, plus, I can't believe that Plastique is like 21 years old. Yeah. I mean, like, Aquaria was 21 years old too, so I guess it's fine, but also, like, I mean, I appreciate that she takes her references from like Vietnam pop stars and pageantry. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that's cute. It's like, it's it's cool, I think, to expose people to like what Asian pop beauty yeah. looks like. Cause I feel like, at least in America, I don't know if people are just familiar mm -hmm. with that. So even though I think to me, it was like, grew up seeing like C-pop stars mm. kind of look like that and mm. have that similar aesthetic that kind of yeah. tries to imitate K-pop. I don't know if like, the average American oh is familiar God. with that type that type of beauty. Mm -hmm. So I think it's cool. What's it like seeing Banji come back? It's awesome. I mean, the last season was the first season I've ever watched. So I think anything calling back to that first season, like there's reference to se references to seasons before that. Yeah. And I just feel kind of left out. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't get the references. Mm -hmm. But the only references I do get are the ones to last season. Yeah. So when they happen, I'm like part of this. Yeah, you know? that's cool. <laughs> well, I couldn't I with this little Hot Wheels thing. Move over, ladies. This race just took an odd turn. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you oh, couldn't, yes. does that mean that, oh, I'm living for this? Or just, or, or, yeah. do, you, no. do, you, or do you mean like, uh, I no, didn't not. like that. I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of Silky, so let's talk about her. Yes, mm -hmm. let's talk about Silky. I actually really like Silky. Okay. Like, I, when, I, when I first encountered, when, when, mm. when she first came up, I was like, I love, I love that energy. I love that, like, um. And her makeup's beautiful. Yeah. And just that, just that personality is is really dope to me. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think when it was presented in like a neutral manner, I was like, I really like Silky. Yes. When mm. she was giving the trucks away to all the other queens, mm. um, she made it a point to help everyone kind of give it like within their style. Mm. But I think later on when they started to present her as this annoying queen, I started to feel annoyed too because everyone's responses were like, I. She talks too much, she's way yeah. too loud. <clears throat> she like, took Miley Cyrus for a ride. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I could see why that would be annoying. I'm trying my best to temper my to temper what I think because I understand that part of it in, can be part of the edit. Mm. There are a few things though that I'm like, okay, this is not the edit, this is just like 
her. It's not okay to literally make everybody in the room say a tagline with you. Oh. And I know that I'm mm. saying that when I literally just made you guys do a tagline of this show. <laughs> <laughs> but that's different. I'm not making the camera crew say it. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, like, for me, <laughs> if Miley Cyrus reveals herself to me, I would not suddenly like like grab her by the arm like this. Miley looked a little bit scared too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, her security was like around, like ready, to, ready to shoot anybody. I will defend her ability to shoot her shot. In that sense, no, she shoots it very often. Yeah, that's true. She just keeps on shooting. Like I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, like <laughs> it's I'm, a fucking SMG. What did you think about Raja and her earrings falling off during her entrance? <laughs> it not only happened once. She tried to put it on again, and it fell off again during the photo shoot. Um, or if it's not, or if it's not working, just to let it go. Like let it, let yeah. it go. And, yeah. 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 Also, I have to say, Hana's entrance look, I immediately didn't like it. Really? I respected it because it shows off her body. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about Soju's entrance because like, it, this is like one of the best entrances I've ever seen. It is so Asian. I'm not Korean, but I feel so seen. I don't know anybody else that would ever walk into this room with a nunchuck routine. Right, yeah. that's true. Usually in these mini challenges, Richard, like it's pretty, I don't know. I think you, you can get the sense that it's pretty arbitrary. Like they show the photo for like two seconds mm. and then they're like, you won, <laughs> I guess. I don't know if I can contest this because I don't remember yeah. any of the photos. That's right. I will always respect people that can just like turn it on yes. in front of in front of a camera. Yes. And and it was very clear that there were some people who didn't know how to do that. Yeah. I love Andrew's good. Did she kill it though? Because she literally stood in front of Farah. I kind of that's that's why I like Vanjie though. Vanjie <laughs> just says exactly what is on her mind, and I'm like, you know what? I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny, because the actual shot afterwards turned out pretty cool. For her? <laughs> I love what she okay, walked out. Fair. She was like, why did I choose the prostitute route? Did I do the prostitution route? Oh, is that what she said? <laughs> yeah, no, th that, was yeah. that was really funny. That was funny. <laughs> like, she's self-aware too, I think, yeah. which is like the, the, the key. That was funny. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. Oh, it was interesting <laughs> to see how some people became really comfortable in that zone of making their costumes, and then some people just melted down. Right, yeah. so- and Some people had no idea what to do with everything. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know who Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina, I don't know who Nina West was before, but apparently yeah. she's like pretty big in the yeah. community. So it was like surprising to me to see her being kind of the one melting down. Yeah. Like everyone around her being like, you're Nina West. Yeah, like, like you. Right, yeah. yeah, so. Why are you melting down? Being known in the community and also like having auditioned for it like literally for almost the entirety of the, of the show. Mm. Like nine times, like, Nine out of 11 times, that's a lot. Mm. Yeah. So, so, so like, I think there's also that added pressure of like, I cannot fuck this up. And if I make one misstep, yeah. then like the nine years that I spent applying for this show mm. will go to waste. Yeah, that's true. And were you too worried about Soju when she said that she could not sew? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah. Also when she said that she wanted to use a traditional um, Korean battle look, I was a little bit worried at that point. You can tell that it's very DIY because of like this bow thing that she has thing. Like you can't, you can't see it through, like against the wrapping. So why have it? I just, it was, was really shimmery. Yeah. <laughs> You're so simple. Akira, is that? It? Yeah, I like this. I one. love it. Yeah, the hair is. I love the hair. It's crazy. RuPaul immediately was able to clock five whips, which I was very impressed by. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, how? <laughs> oh, I see three colors, so maybe it's just like three wigs. Yeah. It was five. That's, yeah, uh, that's, that's really impressive. Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet. I, I mean. thought this was beautiful. It's not even so much aesthetically wise, but like the old, like white rich lady aesthetic kind of scares me a little bit. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this month I've been cut in line by three white ladies already, so I understand how you feel. Let's talk about how spectacular Soju's outfit was. Soju. Oh. Yeah. Even, even if it's re referencing Humbuck, right? Which is mm -hmm. the, um, the Korean, a Korean traditional yes. traditional outfit, but from what exactly? So from what I've seen of Humbug, there still are very clear patterns, waistline kind of color right contrast. Yeah, yeah, the waistline. It's like it it's straight down here, but like it just it just starts billowing out a lot earlier than other American yeah, American it's right here, right? right? Yeah. So yeah. there's still shape to it. More like a funnel where this is just like a triangle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, honestly, I, I want to hear what you two think. When she walked out, I was like, oh fuck, she might be going home. I really, really wanted <laughs> to like it compared to some of the other outfits. This was one of the weaker ones. It was, I think it was objectively the weakest one. 
You're being very nice. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll say it. Do you think that Kohana should have been in the bottom? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Especially really? now having looked at, yeah, like Nina West I, yeah. outfit. Um, and so and Sophie's as well. Mm. Yeah, I, I was like, this isn't my favorite, but it's interesting. It's really at interesting. At least. Yeah. Right? Like, like I I like the like very like low diagonal thing happening. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it either, to be honest. Let's talk about the lip sync. Richard, mm -hmm. very excited to hear your thoughts since you are a dancer. Mm -hmm. So what did you think? I wanted to watch Soju so much because I wanted her to stay on the show, but my eyes were always drawn to Kana. She's using her arms, she's dancing, she's living, yeah. she's dynamic. So I just like couldn't help but watch Kana the whole time. Great dancer. Leo? As soon as it started, I was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come outfit. on. Yeah. I think I felt similar to you, Richard, where I was I was like, I was like, okay, this is this is Soju's chance to like redeem herself. Yeah. Like this is her chance to, to like fucking like prove me wrong and like to mm. be staying longer. And and like I was watching her very intently. Mm. But like just from the way that the edit was happening and also just from the way that she was moving, my hope slowly died. Like old Yeller being taken out to be sh oh, <laughs> around no. the back. Oh. Oh. I'm really sad because I thought that she was gonna last a little bit longer. Mm. And also I personally know her, so I'm really sad because I know that she really was, she really wanted to be on the show, obviously. I mean, what drag queen doesn't want to be on the show, but like. I mean, she was still on the show. How many, how many people can say that? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Plastique Tierra. It's up to you. <laughs> Carry the, a, the Asian flame. <laughs> I think I'm just, very grateful to still be doing the show and learning learning so much. I love the show. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Both of these guys' social medias are gonna be in the description below along with mine. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.